we're on! Hi, Creative Crafters! Miss Kukulik here. I am so excited to say we are at the final step of our bookmaking project. Today's demo video is about how you can make the hardbound cover for your book and about putting everything together into that actual book form. So, without wasting much more time, let's get started. First things first, the supplies you'll need. You'll need your decorative paper piece, your two cardboard pieces for your cover, you'll need your page signature. If you're doing a traditional book, it needs to already be sewn together. You'll need a pencil. You'll need a pair of scissors. You'll need a ruler. You'll need two sheets of scrap paper. There's these smaller brown pieces you can use if you're doing a mini book, or there's some larger white newsprint pieces you can use if your book's larger. You'll need a container of glue and a brush. You'll need a small scrap of paper we're going to use for some measuring. And you will need a bone folder, which you can find in those book binding kits that I put together for you. So, pause the video, get all the supplies you need, and then we can get started. All right, for my traditional book friends, the first thing that we need to do is from the spine edge of our book, we're going to measure over one fourth of an inch. So I'm going to line up my ruler at the one fourth of an inch. I'm going to make a little mark on one of my pages by the spine edge. I'm going to flip my book over and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So at this point I should have a little mark on one side and the other at one fourth of an inch. Next I'm going to take my cardboard and I'm going to line it up so that I have about a fourth of an inch going all the way around. Right. So make sure you both your pieces are lined up correctly. I'm then going to take my page signature and I'm going to line up my pieces of cardboard until I get to that one fourth of an inch mark. So I have about this much of my book hanging out from inside my spine. At this point, I'm going to grab that piece of scrap paper. I'm going to wrap it around my book and then I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to mark where the paper touches the cardboard and I'm going to do that on both sides. This is the space that I'm going to need to leave for my spine. Okay, So hold on to this measurement because we're going to use it in the next step. All right, so our next step is to take our cardboard and at least glue one of the pieces onto our decorative paper. Make sure that the decorative side is down and that you're gluing your pieces to whatever side does not have the pattern you want on it. Now would be the point to get one of those scrap pieces of paper to put your cardboard down on top to get your glue and your brush and over one entire piece of your cardboard you're going to paint your glue. You want to work quickly but make sure that your glue goes on in a nice even spread out layer and covers the entire piece of cardboard. I can then Take my piece of cardboard. I want to make sure that it's going the right direction so that my pages would line up with that one fourth of an inch all the way around. And I'm going to glue it down onto my decorative paper so that there's at least a half inch border going around. If there's a little bit of extra, that's fine. 
I'm going to put this down on my decorative paper or wallpaper and I can take this bone folder and I can rub the back of my cardboard to make sure that it sticks down onto my paper. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my paper where I measured my spine gap. I'm going to line it up and I'm going to mark the amount of space I need to leave before I put my other piece of cardboard down. Again, I'm going to take my scrap paper. I'm going to take my other piece of cardboard. I'm going to put glue all over that piece, working quickly, but making sure it goes on nice and even. I'm going to make sure that I have my cardboard the right direction, right? I don't want this shorter side lined up with this shorter side. And I'm going to make sure that the top edge looks relatively straight and even, and that I'm leaving that same space all the way down. And then again, I can take my bone folder, either the top edge or the whole side, and rub to make sure that that cardboard is stuck down on my paper. When I finish, I should have something that looks like this. If you have a bit extra paper, all you need to do is take your scissors and whatever extra bit you have, um, you don't want more than an inch space, you can just cut right on off. I'm gonna come back through, cut that off. My next step is I want to fold this paper over, but I need to cut off my corners. A good way to think about this is if I take a ruler and line it up with the corner edge of my cardboard, and then I'm going to move it over just a tiny little bit. I'll draw a line, and then I'll turn. So, if I show you, if you can see that silver line right there, it's just a little bit away from the edge, the corner edge of my cardboard. I'm going to do this on all four corners. Next, I can take a pair of scissors and I can cut off those four corner pieces. When you're done, you have, should have something that looks a little bit like this. My next step is going to be to fold these edges up and over so that there is no extra space and that my decorative paper is all folded up. So, to do this, if I take my brush, I'm going to paint my glue right on top of one of my cardboard edges. I can take my bone folder and I can kind of fold up and kind of create a folded edge on that decorative paper. And then I can kind of press down and rub to make sure that that paper stays in place. I think if I turn it and do the other side, it'll look the neatest. So again, I'm going to put that glue on that top edge of the cardboard. I'm going to take my decorative paper. I'm going to first fold it up and kind of press along that seam with my bone folder. And then I'll fold it down and I'll press all along to create a nice, even flat edge. All right, I'll turn it. Again, I'll take my glue. I'll put a thin coat of glue along the edge. At this point where you see the corners, I'm going to kind of just pinch them in a tiny bit so that they fold over and around. I'll fold that paper over and again, I'll press down so that it's nice and secure. One last side. I'm going to put my layer of glue along the edge of that cardboard. I'm going to take 
those corners and I'm going to kind of pinch or tuck them in. And then I'll take that paper, I'll fold it up and over, pressing down to make sure it's nice and secure. At this point, you should have your two pieces of cardboard, your spine gap, and your decorative paper wrapped all the way around to create the start of that nice cover for your book. So, getting your page signature into your book. We're going to grab those pages. There were the two pages marked with an X. This is going to be how we glue this in so that it stays and sits right into your book binding. I'm going to grab again one of those scrap pieces of paper and I'm going to put it into those last page, into that last page. I'm going to take my glue and over the entire last page I'm going to put again a nice even coat. Right. I'm going to then slide out that paper. I'm going to take my page signature and I'm going to make sure that I line it up so that the center of my page signature is centered with my book cover. And I'm going to glue it down and I'm going to press it down. And again, you can use your fingers or that bone folder to make sure it is nice and secure. I'm then going to take, again, that scrap paper. I'll put it down in between the pages. I'll take my glue and my brush. I'll brush over that entire opposite page with the X on it on the other side. I'll take my cover. I'll start to fold it up and over, kind of pressing down. And then I can open my book back up. And again, I can use either my fingers or that bone folder to make sure that page is pressed down and is nice and secure. At this point, you should notice that all of my pages are secured inside of my book and I have this awesome little cover. If you want, there's a little bit of an edge here where your cardboard and your pages are. You can take your bone folder and kind of rub along that edge to create just a little bit more of a spine for your book. You don't have to, but I think it looks kind of nice when you do. But there is my book bound together with my seven pages inside. It opens and closes. It's nice and neat. And it is looking really awesome. Alright, Creative Crafters. I hope that you found this demo video helpful. And I hope to see your finished book projects soon enough. Bye, guys.